Russian motorists considered this model to be attractive in appearance and quite competitive, with good consumer and driving qualities. Here are just rumors that its reliability leaves much to be desired. Something, let alone the beauty of the Peugeot 307. Even today, the car looks quite impressive, it does not get lost in the traffic flow. In addition, the model has a wide range of bodies, in addition to 3-5 door hatchbacks, sedan and station wagon. There was a hardtop coupe cabriolet in the model line. Moreover, the five-door 307 is the most common body type. Inside it is no less spacious than any other minivan. The fact is that the car has a fairly high roof, about 150 centimeters. This contributes to a more rational organization of the internal space. The Peugeot 307 was equipped with both 1.4 liter, 75 horsepower, 1.6 liter, 109 horsepower, and 2.0 liter. 136 and 177 horsepower, petrol four-cylinder engines and turbo diesels 1.4L, 88 horsepower, and 2.0L, 90 and 109 horsepower. The standard transmission is a five-speed mechanics, and a four-band automatic was offered on request. For a two-liter turbo diesel, since 2006, a six-speed manual gearbox and automatic transmission have been provided. The secondary market is dominated by the 307s, previously sold new in Russia. Such specimens are distinguished by increased ground clearance up to 170 mm, stiffer springs, and shock absorbers. In addition, literally immediately after the start of Russian sales, in the winter of 2001, dealer versions began to be equipped with a frost-resistant engine control unit and spark plugs of a different model. In the database, the Russian versions were equipped with frontal airbags, electric front windows, an audio system and fog lights. But among the used Peugeot 307 cars are more often equipped with air conditioning, alloy wheels, and ABS. The stylish body of the Peugeot 307 is well protected from corrosion. True, after several years of operation, chip paint appears on the back door of the hatchback. It is also necessary to monitor the integrity of the front fender liner lockers. They are easily torn off, as a result of dampness, the electric motor of the power steering pump and the ABS unit located behind them are damaged. Failures in the anti-lock braking system are also reflected in the operation of the automatic transmission, up to its transition to emergency mode. Door locks deteriorate from road dirt, so it is better to periodically lubricate the only larva of the driver's door. Engine The 1.6 liter is considered the most optimal engine for the 307. In general, it is reliable, however, on the first machines there were problems with the cold start. On 307s officially sold with us. This defect was eliminated under warranty, but it still occurs on copies imported from Greece, Spain, or Italy. In the dealer technical center, the engine will be fixed for 1,500 rubles by reconfiguring its control unit. On machines of the first years of production, the thermostat sometimes leaked. Its replacement will cost 2,900 rubles. Refueling with low-quality gasoline can damage the valves. If they get stuck in the guides, the repair of the blockhead is guaranteed which costs from 30,000 rubles. Two-liter engines are seen in oil consumption, the consumption of which after 100,000 kilometers increases to 200 G per 1,000 kilometers. On this engine, it is better to update the pump along with the timing belt. She won't last longer. Transmission. The mechanical box is reliable, only the gear shift drive can be capricious. Since 2003, we clutch release bearings in a plastic housing have been replaced with new ones, 4,000 rubles. The machine is problematic and rarely takes care of more than 100,000 kilometers. The suspension after modernization in 2004 has become much stronger and more reliable, so the stabilizer struts can withstand up to 40,000 kilometers instead of the previous 10,000. Shock absorbers, 3,000 rubles each, nurse up to 100,000 kilometers. The AL4 automatic transmission is not durable. At risk are the control electronics and the hydraulic valve block. If the transmission jerks when shifting gears, the cause may be a low oil level, but more often the valve body is to blame. The 1.6 liter engine is the most common. By 100,000 kilometers of run, the lower supports of the power unit wear out, 2,800 rubles each. The motor is also sensitive to fuel quality, which is why they coke. McPherson type front suspension is not burdensome in content. For example, ball bearings, 9,901 rubles each, and silent blocks, from 245 rubles, are changed separately from the levers. 
The steering rack costs 25,000 rubles and, if you're lucky, can last up to 200,000 kilometers. Sometimes it requires replacement even after 100,000 kilometers. Electrical equipment. The electrical equipment consists of blocks connected by CAN buses. At first, very often failures arose due to imperfect software. Since 2003, most of the problems have been solved, but there are still irregularities in the operation of the windshield wipers, headlights, or horn. Suspension. The rear suspension is simple in design, a twisting H-beam, so it is not expensive to operate. In addition to shock absorbers, 6,000 rubles per pair, and stabilizer struts, 970 rubles each, after 150,000 you will have to update the silent blocks of the trailing arms. Body. The body is resistant to corrosion, and the front fenders are plastic, they are not afraid of chips and even minor accidents. In this case, the bumpers do not crack, and on the wings and headlights, as a rule, the fastening caps break.